I've never hugged Nick properly for the last nine years. Because Nick came into our family when I was about 12 years old, so it was like really awkward for me to hug anyone. And then it got to like two years, I never hugged him. Then about four, then six. And then he even moved me into college and I was like, do I hug this kid? I wanted to have what I always saw, but never had a strong, trusting, loving, and open relationship with one another. And that's exactly what we created. From the moment I met you, I was blown away that someone could be so sweet, caring, and loving through the great times and the bad times. Here we finally are, the day we've been planning and waiting for a long time. Well, I've been waiting a little longer than you. <laughs> You're caring, respectful, funny, sweet, athletic, handsome, and so much more. I love making random jingles and nicknames for Nelly. Being with you just feels so right, and there's nobody else I'd rather spend forever with. I know you appreciate my sarcastic side, but I do need to make some promises to you. Nick, when you first came into our family, I think we can both agree I was probably the most guarded when it came to letting you in, but I promise I had good intentions. <laughs> I had to make sure you were good enough for my sister which is probably one of the hardest tests you've ever passed. So good job, I'd give you an A+. Plus. <laughs> I love who you are as a person. I love the way you make my cup of coffee because I know just how I like it. I love the way you cuddle Nellie and treat her like the princess she is. I love the way you know me better than I know myself. I promise to love you through sickness and through health. I promise I will love your children with all my heart and support them always. <laughs> On this day, I promise to forever love you, undoubtedly. I promise to take care of you when you're sick. I promise to make you smile and laugh every day. Most importantly, I promise to let you watch March Madness in peace every year. That's a big deal. That's a huge promise. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. You are so gorgeous, Brooklyn. That's awesome. <laughs> As I heard rumblings of a young man from Westchester that Brooklyn wanted to meet, I still felt confident that this man would need to be pretty special. After meeting Nick, it was obvious that he did enjoy uh, things that began with the letter B. His boys. <laughs> Basketball, specifically Xavier basketball, and March Madness. Baseball, the Cincinnati Reds. The Bengals, board games, bourbon, and beer. But where exactly did Brooklyn fall? As I witnessed each and every year, our beautiful daughter Brooklyn was at the top of Nick's list. Yay! 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 <laughs> we got here! <laughs> we made it! Yes. Made it! Yes. I met G in third grade. We were screaming gee gee in the back of the class. And I don't think there's much time since that we haven't been close. My earliest uh, memories of him were batting against him. I don't think I ever got a hit. Uh, his double jointed fingers that would cause quite the stir at recess. Can you show everyone? Yeah. Look at that. Yes. I can't wait to see you guys grow in love and marriage and know I will always be one of your biggest supporters. Finally, I know it's hard being with a Xavier fan, but it's a good thing he's cute. <laughs> As I asked in 2015, when I told you I love you, do you still like the view? Because <laughs> you're stuck with it. You're my forever and I couldn't be happier. I love you so much. You love me too.
Take you Brooklyn. Take you Brooklyn. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. In all the years through baseball and basketball, I don't think she and I have ever been mad or pissed at each other in, in any sort of way. Other than this one time that uh, he rolled up to my house in his beautiful Buick Century 2000, brown, just beautiful vehicle, first car. And I got the bright idea to light off a bottle rocket right as he showed up. And I shot a bottle rocket right into the front seat of his car. And uh, he was pretty pissed <laughs> for about an hour. <laughs> and uh, luckily, I work on cars and we were able to fix the seat and make that Buick look beautiful again. <laughs> so G, uh, he's, he's one of the best people I know. He's a great person and a good friend. And I knew that he would one day find someone who is just as good of a person than he is. Brooklyn, you're amazing. Just a wonderful human being, and I'm so glad that you and Chief found each other. I'm so honored to introduce to you, all of you Holy Saints of Church, Mr. and Mrs. Grievant Camp. <laughs> for being the person I can trust the most when it comes to taking care of Brooklyn and for all that you have done for her so far. Oh, great. Oh, great. Love you too. <laughs>